A brand new terror raid to celebrate Valentine's Day has just went live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details for this brand new terror event in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. As I said, the event itself will be running as of recording this video from the 13th of February until the 14th. So not got long to take advantage of this, just a couple of days, but keep in mind that if you don't go online after downloading this to your game, you will be able to keep this event in your game for a lot longer until the next time you go online. And then once you do, it will remove this event from your terror raid dens. And like we know already, these are running from one to five stars. And then the five star is gonna have a random terror typing, but you'll also have a signature terror typing of fairy for this particular event because it is all around Valentine's Day. One star raids, they're gonna be level 12 terror type is going to be random standard ability on these and the moves are going to be pound baby doll eyes echoed voice and super fang these are only going to be available if you are at the start of your playthrough and you haven't got your third gym badge yet one and two star are the ones that you're going to have available item drops for these raid events are pretty good if you're early on in your playthrough in particular for sandwich ingredients and some higher cost items here you can see there's some stardust there but you're going to get candies as well as a bunch of other things that are going to be useful in your playthrough so a good event to take part in if you are at that early stages now Getting on to the three to five star raid events, which everyone else, if you finish your playthrough, will have access to. Three star raid's gonna be level 35. Hidden ability will be possible on these. Bullet Seed, Charm, Hyper Voice, Super Fang are the moves and an additional move will be play rough. And the item drops as you get higher with the star ratings do increase and get a little bit better. You're gonna get large and medium candies in this one and Terra Shards are introduced. So you're gonna get Terra Shards in this event, which is actually quite good. A bunch of sandwich ingredients here as well and some higher cost items as well with this rare bone. And then moving up to the four star raid, it's gonna be level 45. Again, random terror typing and then hidden ability going to be possible. Pretty much the same as the three star, except the moves do change a little bit. Bullet Seed Charm, Population Bomb introduced with this level 45 tandem mouse. It's going to be a little bit stronger and on core, which can be a little bit annoying to deal with. And agility going to be that additional move. Now, again, as you imagine with the higher star rating, the item drops are going to be a little bit better. You're going to get higher cost items here. You're going to get a big pearl as an option coming into these raids but the big juice of this is always going to be these five star raids and they're the ones you want to go after if you're going to want to farm these items level 75 for the five star raids hidden ability possible bullet seed encore population bomb and play rough with the additional moves of agility and hyper voice i'm actually quite surprised at how good the item drops are going to be for this event you're going to get large and xl candies in these drops you're going to get a bunch of the fur as well from the tandem mouse fur and the terror shards with the relevant terror typing that the den that you've gone in is going to be as well as an enormous amount of sandwich ingredients that are going to be useful for creating sandwiches as well as rare candies bottle caps and bomb mushrooms and also pp up so you've got a chance of getting those every time you do defeat these terror raid dens and then you're going to have that kind of signature one which is going to be the fairy terror type that will probably appear a little bit more in your map rather than just the random ones that you're going to see for the tandem mouse so that is all of the details for the event as i said it's only running for a couple of days so make sure you do take the time if you can to get in and take part in this it's going to be a good opportunity get a bunch of really good item drops and it also gives you the opportunity to get tandem mouse with a bunch of different terror types which is always going to be good for competitive play getting it with a ghost terror type or fire terror type steel terror type whatever you want you're going to be able to go into this event and make it a lot easier so you can get that mouse hold, especially for competitive play, like I say, with those different terror types. So to get this brand new event in your game, you're going to need to just come down to your poker portal. And as always with these events, you're going to need a Nintendo online subscription. When you're in your poker portal, just come down to mystery gifts and then check Poke Portal News, and this will connect you to the internet. This will update all of your dens. Once you get this message up on your screen, you know your dens are updated. So you've got this new Spotlight Terror Raid event to go and enjoy. And what you're gonna be able to do to identify these dens because the tandem mouse are gonna be 
an array of different terror types throughout the region. You can open your map and you'll be able to easily identify the terror raid dens by this white glowing aura that you're going to see around here. As you can see, this one here is a regular one. This one will be a spotlight terror raid. This will have the tandem mouse in it. So you want to just identify whichever one you want to go after type wise. We'll go after the fairy one because it is reminiscent of Valentine's Day with the heart terror hat that the fairy types do have. And when you've located the terror den, they will look like this. They'll have an extra glowing aura around them. You'll be able to just click in and you'll be able to see here we have a four star terror raid. We want to go after a five star though. So that's what we're going to locate. And let's check this one out. And it is the five star den. So once you've found the den that you want to go into, either the terror type that you want to have your tandem mouse turn into, whether that be a fairy type or a ghost type or whatever, you can get them in all different varieties of different terror types. You can then go into it. I would suggest if you're going after the fairy type specifically for Valentine's Day, using this goldingo build so if any of you are interested the goldingo build that i am running for this particular raid event i am specifically going to be looking for just the fairy terror type tandem mouse because it's going to be easy to run through these events with this goldingo and it is a pokemon a lot of you probably already have easy to acquire with the steel terror typing we give it the metal coat just to give it an extra bit of output with its damage as well level 100 of course to give you the maximum output we have ev trained it in hp and special attack 252 for both of those and then just throw the remaining four in either defense or special defense we've put ours in defense not that it matters because you're not really going to ever get knocked out by a tandem mouse no matter even if it is a five star good as gold the ability move set is going to be recover metal sound nasty plot and make it rain specifically going into these raids you're just going to want a nasty plot of three times and then just hit the make it rain button and you should be picking up the knockout on all of the tandem mouse especially if they are that fairy terror type that you're going up against. And of course we have maxed out the IVs on this and hyper trained it already. There we go. It's always going to be the pre-evolution, but it shouldn't be that difficult to take down. You're probably not going to need any Pokemon that are really dedicated to taking down these terror raids. The Tandem Mouse, because it is a pre-evolution to its evolution, and the max raid it's going to be is a five star. Shouldn't be too difficult, but if you just want to run through these events and gather a lot of the sandwich ingredients, then something like Goldingo is going to be a really easy choice for you to kind of go after and then just run through these events very quickly. This event, of course, is only running for a couple of days, like we've mentioned. So you've only got a little bit of time to take advantage of this and grab as many of these handy sandwich ingredients as possible. But on top of that, you're going to be I think the big thing from this event is obviously going to be getting the tandem mouse so you've got the mouse hold with these different terror types it gives you the opportunity to grab them and get them with the different terror types that are going to be useful for competitive play in particular as a third nasty plot is it going to be enough we should be able to make it rain here and it probably will be enough to take this tandem mouse down you could go for the metal sounds if you want uh, but yeah we don't don't need to it is that easy and no one's going to have a problem with it it's going to be a nice event to go online with because it's going to be nice and easy to do shouldn't really have too many problems at all and as always since this is a special event i will catch this one and we'll get it in a premier ball just to kind of recap and then we can have a look at the item drops that we get from this five star raid this is the highest star rate that you're going to be able to go into of course from one to five depending on where you are on your playthrough and what terror dens you've got unlocked and here are the item drops so you can see we do get those xl and large candies get some tandem mouse fur some fairy terror shards so it's going to be a really good event for just farming terror shards in general getting eight here and then look at all of these sandwich ingredients plus the red candy and pp up as well as a few more sandwich ingredients so like i say some higher cost items here the bomb mushrooms in particular and the rare candy as well do make up for quite a good event for item drops in particular so there's our tandem mouse and like i say goldingo a very good one if you're going specifically after those fairy type tandem mouse which is very reminiscent of valentine's day so if you are wanting to go and farm these raid events for the item drops after completing one of them just come onto your map and then locate the next one and head to it check it if it's a five star 
that's particularly what you want to go for more than lower star ratings then you can just move on to the next one you can see there are going to be plenty of these spotlight terror raids throughout the region and for anyone new if you want to change or just refresh the dens in your area what you can do is just hit your home menu then come down to system settings down in to system down into date and time just hit date and time there just click through into okay and then hit your home menu and come back into game and all your dens will refresh as you can see and there we go we've got a nice fairy one right down here that we can head to and try and farm some of these items while this event is live so happy valentine's day have a lot of fun with this event over the next couple of days that is everything that we're going to cover in today's video like i say i hope you have a lot of fun with it and take advantage of these brilliant item drops actually i'm surprised at how good they are in particular and i'm going to be handy for getting all of these sandwich ingredients as well as the other high cost items that you're going to be able to acquire from just farming these events although it is only a short window that it is available but like i say if you don't go online after you've downloaded it to your game you're going to keep it until the next time you do go online so you're going to have a little bit longer if you decide to stay offline to do these with after the event ends but thank you so much for tuning in i hope you found this video useful like i say have a happy valentine's day and i will see you all on another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye